Yanni. Hey, Lou. It's Laurel. It's Yanni. No, no, no. It's Laurel. It's Yanni. No. It's Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. Yanni. We'll tell you what it is on the very next Men Are So Smart. Laurel. Yanni. No, Laurel. Yanni. I said Laurel. I'm hearing Yanni. Well, it's all the rage. Everybody's talking about it. From Main Street to Broad Street. Gold dress or blue? No, oh. that's yesterday. Oh. Is it Yanni or Laurel? What do you hear? Well, it turns out the young woman who led the world to wonder whether they heard Yanni or Laurel has revealed herself. Chloe Feldman of California didn't make the recording herself, but it was her tweet about the recording that triggered this phenomenon. Uh, she says, I posted it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I didn't think much of it. And when I woke up the next morning, all these mentions and tweets from celebrities and different news outlets, and I saw this tweet basically blew up. It did indeed. Uh, Feldman decided to make it her mission to find the person who made the recording. Her name is Katie, Feldman said. She emailed me, and we have been talking. It was her vocabulary project, and she was playing the word out loud and ended up coming up with this phenomenon. The word has apparently laurel. The word was apparently laurel, but that's not what Katie Hetzel heard when she played the word on vocabulary.com. Uh, Katie heard the word Yanni, and she knew that wasn't one of her vocabulary words. Why would it be? Uh, why would Laurel be anyway? But, yeah. uh, so I had my friends listen to it, uh -huh. and they heard Laurel. Uh -huh. uh, Hetzel said that's when she realized different people heard different words. Yeah. She posted the recording on Instagram, which was posted by others, both on Instagram and elsewhere, on its way to becoming a full-fledged viral phenomenon. Hetzel, a freshman at Georgia High School, discovered just how far the sensation had spread Tuesday, which also happened to be her birthday. It was just crazy, the teen said. Uh, for those who can recall, it's the audio equivalent of that the dress. St stupid dress. Yeah, thing. which yeah. America would drove America crazy back 2015 yeah. as millions disputed whether the outfit was white and gold or black and blue. Inside Edition's audio engineer Michael is among the many whoops who listened to the clip. He says it sounds like Laurel. Hmm. According to some, the word a listener hears depends on the speaker's bass, pitch, or volume. Wow. You know, it's all about the bass. <laughs> <laughs> when Michael took the bass out, he still heard Laurel. Okay. Let's... What is my stomach saying right now? I think it's saying Yanni. <laughs> it sounds like Laurel to me. <laughs> I apologize. I'm sorry. We record these shows very early in the morning. And you know what? For the record, I'll apologize for the dog yeah. that you hear barking to. Here's the thing. The dog hates me. <laughs> the dog's name is Buster. The dog hates me. Buster if hates the, a lot of people. If the so. dog hears my voice... He starts barking immediately. So we, we can't help that. And it's not coming out in post-production. Yeah. All right. So, Ronnie, I think it's only fair that we play this. You got your speaker turned up all yes, the way? It's all, all right. Way up. I'm going to play mine first. Okay. And then what we'll do is see what we hear. Okay. Here okay. we go. Ready? Laurel. 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 Now I hear Laurel. Laurel. What? I hear Laurel. Laurel. It's clear as a bell, Laurel. Laurel. Very, very, very clear Laurel. Laurel. Okay, all right. Well, let's all stop right. right there. So now, we both heard Laurel on my computer. Now, we did this earlier, and I'll tell you those results in a minute. But let's okay. now go to a different laptop and see what we hear. All right, here we go. Okay. Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. Yanni. Yanni. Okay, now I'm just really confused. That's so weird. Okay, so now here is the results from our two tests on this. The first time on my computer, I heard Laurel and you heard Yanni. Very clearly Yanni. Okay, then <clears throat> we went to your computer before we went on air here, 
and we heard the same exact thing. Right. I heard Laurel. I heard Yanni. Okay. So now, on the air, we've just demonstrated what our reaction was on my laptop, which was we both heard Laurel, but then we went to Ronnie's, and it was he heard Yanni again. I hear Yanni. Hmm. I think because these speakers are poor, they are about uh, one centimeter by 10 centimeters long. They're very, very poor. There's no bass to them at all. So it's possible what that engineer is saying might have, there might be something behind that. But however, before, I hmm. only heard Yanni even on your computer. Okay. It's very... Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. Now Laurel. I hear Yanni. Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. That's... Oh my God! Wow, I might be, ha I might have a brain tumor or something. <laughs> oh no! Now I don't know what to think. I think I'll get back in the shot. Yeah. Uh, all right, let's do your computer. Do a, start okay. it over again. Okay. Okay, here we go. Laurel. Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. Laurel. Yanni. You're yanking my chain. I know you no. are. You're Yanni. yanking my chain. It's clear I, as a bell. It's Laurel. That's that's Yanni. No. It even says it right there. Yanni. I know. All right. Well, tell us what you hear in the comments below. <laughs> now, I, I will say this. I listened to a radio show last week, mm -hmm. uh, Wednesday or Thursday, and he was saying that uh, he believes it has something to do with over 50 under 50 over 50 years old you lose some of your uh high some of the high end of the of audio uh -huh. we're both over 50 way yeah so uh i think that that boy i don't know that doesn't hold true it that doesn't that's that's obviously not true um i think it has to do well, I thought it had to do with the speaker you're hearing it out of, but we've just demonstrated right here, because of science, science, that it's different. But see, here's what happened. On one of those times he heard Laurel on mine, the other time he heard Yanni. It's the same video. Yeah. Look, I'll prove it again. Watch. Laurel. Yanni. Laurel. Laurel. It's Yanni. Laurel. This oh. is so weird. It's freaking me out. That is. It's freaking me out, friends. I don't understand this. It doesn't make sense. And I love science. This is like a bad magic trick. <laughs> this is like a pen and teller magic trick that goes bad. That, like, teller actually talks or something. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah. All right, I'll tell you what. You decide for yourselves. Let's roll into Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat right now. Kansas law that cops can't have sex during traffic stops. What? That's outrageous. That's unheard of. I would never have become a cop if that were a law. I back know. In the day. Jeez, now you've just crushed the hopes and dreams of so many cops. Uh, wow, that's so, a, it's a good thing we have a law for that. <laughs> this new law bans yeah. sexual relations during the course of a traffic stop, a custodial interrogation. Or an interview in convention uh, in connection with an investigation, or while the law enforcement officer has such person detained. So, Ronnie, I have a question. What wasn't that illegal already? Um, I'm not sure if it's actually illegal, but it is unbelievably unethical. An unwritten law. Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, does it really need to be a law for All that? Right. Where do you hear the next sentence here? Stand by. Uh, yeah. Here. Kansas was one of 33 states where consensual sex between police and people in their custody wasn't a crime. I wonder if they're hiring. Oh, I, well, now there's a law against it. Yeah, so, so you don't want to move no, to there. No. Right. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh, that came as a surprise to members of the House Ju uh, Ju Judiciary Committee, 
uh, who got the new law passed in a bundled bill with several other law enforcement measures. you got to watch out for them bundled bills. <laughs> Uh, it was spun off the case of Lamonte Murray, a Kansas City, Kansas man, released last year after spending 23 years in prison for a double murder he didn't commit. The investigation in that case led to multiple affidavits alleging that the detective who made the arrest had a long history of coercing sex from women in Kansas City's communities by threatening to arrest them or their relatives if they didn't comply. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so the, the lawmakers were also moved by a case in New York where a teenager claimed she had been raped by two police officers in the back of their van, but no charges were filed because the officers claimed the sex was consensual and therefore legal. Oh, who did they convince of that? Yeah. Kansas law previously said there shouldn't be sexual relations between police and persons in jail, but it didn't say anything about if they'd been stopped on the streets or were in their custody. This helps a person who was detained in their neighborhood or stopped for a ticket, that type of thing. Lawmakers on both sides of the uh, aisle embraced the ch uh, change, saying it was long overdue. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, I just don't think that this is, it, it, it lacks of integrity. So let me tell you, in my department, let's say I, I pick up a female for shoplifting. Okay. Okay. Uh, she's typically patted down by a female officer if we have one. If not, it's a very, um, you know, cursory search by a male officer. Yeah. Handcuffed, put in the backseat of her car. Right. Then we call our dispatch. Uh -huh. They know where we are. And we tell them the beginning mileage of our vehicle and that we're on our way to jail. And then if anything comes up and she says, oh, he took me to a deserted field halfway to the jail. We detoured and he raped me or we had sex or whatever. And then we got back on the freeway and went to the jail. Well, they can always go back and say, mm, no, the mileage adds up from, you know, that's enough evidence? That would typically be enough. Yeah. I mean, we also have our cameras inside now that, you know, that shoot inside <clears throat> video, shoot backseat video. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean... But no GPS to the point where they know exactly your coordinates. Uh, there is, but it's not... It's not... Uh, what would you call it? It's, it's not memorialized. So they can tell... Dispatcher at any time can look at her computer and tell exactly where I am. And they use that for, hey, we just had a bank robbery. Who are my two closest units? Oh, Boom. Mm -hmm. Send those two units. See, this is insight you're not going to get on other shows. Right. This is right from the horse's uh, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very interesting. And we, we never used to have that. It used to be, hey, whoever the two units are that are free, we yeah. would send them. But right. now... If you're taking some burglary report, but you happen to be just a block away, you're going to get dispatched to a bank robbery or some other kind of maybe a life-threatening type call. That's very interesting. Yeah. What a stupid, stupid law. <laughs> yeah. I mean... This law is... Yeah. Talk about one of your... I guess it's necessary. I, I can't even imagine because when it goes to court and the person says, oh, by the way, we had sex on the way to jail or while he was interviewing me, or whatever, uh, I would think that a, a normal jury would just go, no, we're not going to, sorry, you, you, you get a get-out-of-jail-free card on that one. All right, uh, let's roll and wrap up Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat. We appreciate you watching today. This has been another episode of Men Are So Smart, and you'll find more information on the two of us below, uh, the different ways that you can uh, get a hold of us if you wish to. Uh, we'd love your comments. You can do that below as well. You know, and especially, do you hear Yanni or do you hear Laurel? I hear Laurel. 
It's Yanni. I heard Laurel every time. I heard Laurel once. You did? Yeah. But I, then I was wrong. Isn't Yanni kind of busy for this? Yeah, because he is the master of the pan flute. Oh, yeah, the pan flute. <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, subscribe to our channel because you'll get more of this nonsense and silliness and what we'd like to call men are so smart shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned for continuing coverage of the royal wedding. <laughs> I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. <laughs> Ain't happening on this show. <laughs> no. This has been Men Are So Smart. <laughs>